This is Peg from Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I am a metalsmith or jewelry fabricator turned into a junk journal junkie. I also alter books and utilize mixed media to do some DIY home decor. In this video series, I would like to take you through the, the start to finish project of creating this book with the hidden door or the door latch on the front of the book cover that opens up to display a photo underneath um, a window or a clear acetate window. So I will be sharing with you how this book is made from start to finish. We'll be creating the cover and binding the signatures. I started by utilizing a K-cup coffee box, which is a good solid cardboard foundation and I am measuring that to six inches wide by nine inches high. The spine is one and a half inches by nine inches. I'm going to lay that out so that spine is just about a quarter of an inch from the cover and utilizing a black duct tape or any duct tape I am going to cut the duct tape to a little over the nine inch mark and I am going to adhere that to the spine and the front cover. Flip it over and just lap over those the overage. So now that that is done you can quickly lay on another piece of duct tape on the back just to keep it secure on both sides trimming off any excess. So I'm just utilizing my bone folder to get that all in place and make sure it's very secure. Now that we have the first cover piece on the spine, we'll simply lay that second piece right down next to it. Cut that duct tape. And you can see I'm kind of folding that duct tape into a U-shape. And why I do this is because it allows me to gently lay that on the center of where I want that duct tape and it prevents the cardboard from moving and keeps that little space in between the spine and the cover consistent from side to side. So see, so you just attach it there in the center first, get that secure and then push down to secure the remainder of the area on the front. Flip it over turn those spots in and now you can see that we've created that book structure or the structural foundational piece for that book. Now I'm just going to put that additional piece of duct tape on and we will move forward to wrapping it in craft paper. So the next step is to grab a piece of craft paper that is slightly larger then your entire cover, center your finished book foundation on top of it. I'm going to, um, just because my the paper that I purchased came on a big roll and it has a tendency to roll up real funky on me when I'm working with it, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of Mod Podge down to stick uh, the, the book to it so I can work with it. If you have a piece of paper that lies flat, that's not going to be necessary. You can go ahead and, and utilize your, your final glue uh, to, to get the adherence of this cover to the cardboard the way I felt was necessary. I used a Fabri-Tec glue, which is a um, glue that virtually will stick anything to anything and it dries very quickly. So it it gives you a little bit of room for movement, but, but not a lot because it dries pretty fast. So now that I have that down, I'm just going to make sure those edges are covered with the glue to stick that craft paper to those edges. Um, these This is what we're gonna be adhering our paint to and in doing our finish on so we want to make sure that these edges are, are very pristine or covered. Um, wrapping this uh, just like you would wrap a gift, making sure that those edges are all 
secure and securely covered. I did trim off some of the excess just to keep the bulk and the extra bulk away from the corners. Again, I'm just using my bone, bone folder to, to kind of ease out all of the wrinkles and bubbles. There will be some left, or there are always some left in my projects. And I, I'm okay with that because it adds what I refer to as texture to the front cover of my books. Now I'm taking my um, ruler and just kind of pushing that crepe paper down into that spine and then I'm going to come back and just do a, a slight cut and glue there to, um, you know, adhere that really well. So this is the picture that I have chosen for this particular project and now is the point in time where I want to cut out that window. So I am just taking that image and, and laying it down and measuring um, exactly where I want that window to be and, and how much of that picture I want to appear through that window. And I, I chose this. There's a couple of reasons. This is a journal for me. And I had a little book of friendship that one of my friends had given me that has a lot of pictures of, of women together. And I, I chose this picture as it was two older women. And it just kind of reminded me of a, a journal where someone is journaling their, their life, what, it, what has happened to their friendships throughout their life. So I've taken my X-Acto knife and am just cutting along those lines I, I drew. I'm holding my ruler down to kind of guide the knife along those lines until I get a, a good deep cut. And as you can see, that has come out quite easily. So now I'm utilizing just a piece of fine sandpaper and I'm sanding those inside edges to just get any little rough pieces of cardstock or cardboard um, off and I'm putting my Mod Podge on to just make sure that that craft paper is adhered to both sides of that cardstock. And now I'm going to go over that once again and begin to put on an additional foundation or an additional um, layer to create some interest in that final cover. So I have chosen book pages that have come out of a altered book that I am working on and I have just torn and prepared those to Mod Podge on all over the front and back cover. As I work through this foundation process or laying these book pages, adhering them with Mod Podge onto this craft paper, I start to think about what I am going to do with the final piece. What what I want this to look like, what I want it to represent. And you know, I'm referring back to that picture to create this entire look. So I see these two women and I, and I kind of think of a of a brick row house or brownstone and you know, a couple of women standing in the street chatting with vines growing up on the on the house, uh, you know, this brick distressed, etc. So we're going to kind of go for that look with that window that opens up to reveal these two women speaking. And then as we move throughout this journal, it will just kind of be a reflection of what they may have been talking about, their memories, their, their friendship, their, the books they've read, the places they've been, the travels they've made, the, the, you know, the history of life, if you will. So it, it's kind of a great concept, I think, personally, for a journal, and I'm looking forward to utilizing it. 
um, as such. So this is going to be my personal journal, which I haven't really made one for myself in, in, in a long time. It's always for other people. So what we're working towards is this cover that you see here. And the cover is going to have the little window that opens into the picture that reveals these two women talking. I have added a little bit of ephemera around the picture to kind of represent their life. So I hope you will join me and create this journal with me. And once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be notified of the content that we are loading on a weekly basis. Thank you once again, and I hope to see you in the next video.